Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Lauterbach and I'm gonna talk to you today about your lesson. And I'm so excited because today you're gonna learn about the periodic table. And that's where um, a lot of fun stuff happens with the elements in the periodic table where I get some of my jokes. Um, I even have like this nifty little pen here that has this hidden periodic table inside of the pen. That's how nerdy I am when it comes to periodic table. Uh, so be mindful that sometimes when jokes happen uh, in my class, they'll happen periodically because I love the periodic table of elements. Um, so let's talk about what you're going to do today. Uh, in periodic table day, uh, you're first going to watch a video on the periodic table in Edpuzzle, and it's going to talk to you about the man who created the periodic table, Mendeleev, a uh, Russian scientist. That'll be the first half of the video. Uh, the second half is going into the specific uh, families of the periodic table. So all of the elements are arranged by families, believe it or not, and there is a reason to their order. Um, so after that, uh, I kind of put it at 15 minutes. The video is really 11, but there's questions in between. Um, so after you do that, what we're going to do next is the periodic table investigation. So here is a Google Doc where you're going to answer the questions related to the periodic table. Um, it's going to have you open the link here to ptable.com, and it is the periodic table that I often use in class um, that goes over the elements and their families. Um, so it, it says in the directions, uh, make sure the Wikipedia tab is selected. Uh, that is already set up when you open it. It's this side over here uh, that goes through each element. Um, I do want to point out the first couple questions talks about groups and periods. So groups are the numbers on the top. There are 18 groups that make up the periodic table. So they are the vertical columns and they are the numbers on the top. All right. That's really kind of how we get some of our families like the alkali metal families or the uh, alkaline earth metal families. And then you have the non-reactive metals. They're kind of they're a family, um, but they're they're kind of like scattered a little bit. Um, but the noble gases is another group family. Then you have the periods. The periods are the numbers on the side here. They run horizontally. Uh, so you've got group one, group two, group three, group four, group five. So there are seven periods. Um, they, it doesn't really talk a whole lot about that uh, here on this table, but I wanted to point that out for you. Um, the families, when it asks you for families, you're going to be looking in this middle section right here, okay, that distinguishes between metals, metalloids, non-metals, and then the families that make up the two in between, um, or the multiple families in between. Uh, so you can, like, click on them to see what they are, and then you can actually click on the family to find the information. Now, I do realize that some of this text is a little bit higher up for you, so you're really going to need to use some skills, some reading skills, to determine what kind of information is needed for me uh, to fill out the paper, um, the Google Doc, all right? So be mindful of that. Um, all right, so that's the periodic table. Um, once you fill out the questions, you know, there, there are about oh, 15 questions here. Um, once you fill that out, there are some cool things you can do with the periodic table. I mean, not only can you look at specific elements as a whole, like gold here, I can click on gold and it'll tell me, tell me the information off to the side. Um, I can look at the temperature and I can adjust the temperature to see how the elements change from solid to liquid. Um, I can look at the wide version, so that's if the periodic table included the actinide and lanthanide groups within. All right, I can remove that. Um, I can look at the compounds, the electron configuration. So there's all kinds of cool stuff that you can explore after you do the Google Doc. Uh, the last thing I'm going to have you do, so you have the video that I'm asking you to watch, the periodic table investigation with the Google Doc that you want to fill out, and then there's the Quizlet on the symbols. So I attach the Quizlet. These are some, uh, these are 42 common symbols that you're going to want to know for the periodic table and understand. So I've got the symbol here with the with the name, all right? So again, I recommend the learn feature or the test feature, but this is a fun one to do for gravity, if I'm honest, because 
little symbols come down and you type out the symbols uh, as they go through or the name. Uh, but you, you're going to want to review these. What's going to end up happening is on, uh, on that little Wednesday self-check, I'm going to give you a sample of these elements and we're going to see how well you learned them. Some of them are easy, like oxygen is O, carbon is, is, is C. Some of them are a little bit harder, like um, potassium here. Potassium symbol is K. So you definitely want to make sure you go through and practice that. Um, so other than that, I hope you have a great day. Uh, make sure you email me if you have any questions or concerns. And please check your infinite campus grades and make sure you're staying on top of your work. Otherwise, I will see you in class. Bye.